Well, today is the, the first of a series of events that we're going to be taking around the country and the lead up to the Olympic Games. And it's a series of six events covering six different sports and we'll be showcasing some of the science and technology uh, behind those different sports. We've got basketball today, we've got triathlon, we've got sailing, we've got cycling, uh, we've got diving and we've got athletics. What we want to do is we want to give people an insight into the kind of work that goes on behind the scenes, whether it's a, a scientist, whether it's a technologist, the coach or the athlete. In 1982, um, I was 18 years old and I had an accident at work, uh, which resulted in um, a spinal cord injury. Since the age of 18, uh, I've been in a wheelchair. And in 1985, I was chosen to play basketball for GB and since then I've been lucky enough to play in five Paralympics and six World Championships. The first wheelchair I, I had when I was uh, rolling out to the Spinal Injuries Unit in Sheffield weighed about 45 pounds and um, it was a big chunk of metal. Over the last 30 years uh, wheelchairs have developed um, more than they have all, over the previous 50. On this particular wheelchair which is the RGK Elite you've got things like the anti-tip bar which is on the back here. And what that does is um, it, gives, it gives you a lot more stability and it allows you to move the camera bar, which is the bar here in the middle, further forward, which enables you to turn faster. You fall out your wheelchair. Oh, oh, oh. You, <laughs> you fall out your wheelchair, you're lying on the floor, people are playing basketball around you. You don't kind of wait, you ju just got to get back into the game. Yeah, whenever you introduce science to an area like sport, there, there are some ethical considerations which you have to take into account. And, and we'll be asking the audience some questions to tease them and to excite them and to perhaps see what they think about the, those ethical issues. Because I guess the question is, you know, who is responsible for the performance? Is it the scientist? Is it the engineer? Or is it the athlete? And I think we want to see good sport, you know, being dominated by great athletes and great individuals. But, you know, we all like to see things getting faster and further. We like to see improvements. I want to understand why some technologies are good and they're permitted and other technologies are bad and are taken away. Why is doping actually so bad? Why, what are we so upset about? What are the issues here? Is sport about testing pure natural talent? Or is it actually about testing how an athlete might be able to use and exploit technology? We are world leading in sports science, sports technology and sports en engineering. And so we're uniquely placed as a nation to help our elite athletes and indeed recreational athletes benefit from that kind of technology. Any advice for Andy Murray in Australia at the moment? <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was a really fantastic event actually, um, it's interesting for a number of reasons because it covers obviously the science of sport, uh, you had actual athletes here talking about their input and their feedback to the sport and then obviously you had the, the scientists who support uh, the athletes in doing what they do so it's really really interesting diverse event. I've got tickets to wheelchair basketball so I'm really excited about that and it was really interesting to come along and see a bit more about the technology that goes into the sport. Having that debate about is it, is it ethical, is it legal, is it moral was quite interesting from my perspective. Where are you going to get the chance um, in a world-renowned lecture theatre like this to see um, one of the elite wheelchair basketball players tilting right up at an angle? That's going to be a good memory. As scientists, as engineers, we can do these things. You know, potentially we could enhance a, uh, an athlete's performance, phys their physiological performance. We can, using technology, maybe enhance how high they, how high they can jump. The question is, should we? 